Brother Munro here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where this German task force, which is all the way off to Sardinia for some reason, we are going to intercept right here. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> so we're going to move the Mediterranean fleet right here, and hopefully that intercepts the Germans. Um... That's the plan, anyway. Um, do do do. <laughs> yeah, yes, we have um, we have increased the submarine count of the German Navy a fair bit. Uh, so far, ma mainly we, we, we're taking on one battleship and one battle cruiser of theirs, um, and we've thinned out their cruiser force a little bit. They still have loads of the bloody things. We haven't seen the Austro-Hungarians. They're tied up fighting the Italians as far as I can work out. Um, we're doing a relationship update, which is uh, fine. <laughs> um, I, I really hope we do get to intercept with the Mediterranean fleet, because we haven't seen any of those ships yet. Uh, well, actually, no, we have, because one of the two of them have come for repairs in the med. Um, I think one of the battle cruisers we've seen before, and one of the heavy cruisers. But uh, oh come on, game, taking forever. I wish I knew what update relationships actually was in the background. Like I know what building ships is. Update relationships. Like there's no diplomacy at the moment. Maybe it's the AI trying to figure out what it wants to do. Welcome back. Uh, what's Twitch chat going on about? Um, boom. What? <laughs> I don't think you mean it's there, game. This, this... What? What? Uh, yes. <laughs> the French fleet has <laughs> sailed up the... Is this the Rhine here? I can't remember. My, uh, no, the Rhine's over here. Is this the Ruhr? I'm not even sure. Anyway, like Vikings, we have sailed up, <laughs> up the rivers. <laughs> we'll take them on. God damn it. Anyway... So we have that Hanover and the Saxon. So look, the Saxon, I suppose. Uh, Friedrich Karl and the Königsberg. So we we know these these are not terrible. Uh, and then we have a ton, an absolute ton of the evil little ship uh, ships. So let's go. Yes, <laughs> literal combat, <laughs> or littorial combat, or whatever it's called. Yes, takes inshore battles a little bit far. Um, also, Germany looks a little bit different um, <laughs> to what I remember. Right, battleships. We have the Diderot. Uh, nice to see her for the first time. We have the Bellicas. And we have, I believe, this is Richelieu. Is that right? Yeah, I can remember my own ships. And then we have the Grand St. Louis, which we have seen before. We have the... Oh, jeez. This one. This one is Victoire, I think. And this one, I don't remember. Uh, oh, this is the Marguerites. Okay. Perfect. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> interesting, uh, interesting mixture of ships here. So, the battleships, yeah, they are 25 knots. 
and the battle cruisers we'll keep it 20 25 knots for now see if we can spot the enemy coming in Uh, Dutch secrets, perhaps. Ow. Unusual hit. I mean, the, the deck armor on these is not nothing. There we go. Assuming that's going to be a battleship. No, heavy cruiser. And they're damaged as well. Somehow. <laughs> Some of them. Again, no wish to get in super close. Quite content to bombard them at range. Oh, nice ammo debt on something. Light cruiser. Just missing. There we go. Got a sink, surely. Thank you. Again, more than content to uh, pepper them for now. Especially, I'm going to wait until I get IDs on this lot. Where the battleships have gone. Quite, oh, they're way back there. Quite content to uh, try and eliminate these light cruisers. The inch guns doing really well so far. Right, like cruisers identified. I haven't seen any. I don't see a launch on the Munchen. I oh, thank you for the hydrate. I have to go and get myself uh, something to drink in a minute. So I am out. 
Yeah, there we go. Nice. Oh, yes. That's what I like to see. And yes, I know there's a huge waste of shells doing this. But uh, eliminating the cruisers is, in some ways, more important. Especially those light cruisers. More of them gone, the better. Doesn't look like they thought to come in for a torpedo attack. It looks like they they have these set up as screening forces, which is really weird because I'm running all cattle ships on the, in this battle. But I am fine with that. That is just more torpedoes going to the bottom of the sea where they belong. Fabulous. Right. Goodbye. <laughs> right. Oh, more of them. Jesus. Nice. Actually, that might have been a destroyer. Ah, okay. <laughs> Walls to destroy it. You fired, you absolute bastards. Must have gotten too close. Uh, so I much prefer a, a large destroyer in the in the light campaign, and uh, interestingly, I'm not using them in this one <laughs> um, because well, it, it's 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 something a bit different because I, I always use a destroyer like that, and they, they are very very effective. I, I really don't like the light cruiser uh, late on. I love the idea of a light cruiser, but in the game, you know, five inch guns over six or seven. Not that much difference. Uh, destroyers can go much, much faster. Uh, light cruisers can't fit anti-torpedo belts. They can't have armor greater than six inch, which, you know, isn't, you know, a massive help against small caliber guns. Right, increase the flank view lot. Yeah, they 
are they are shooting at a uh, battleship. Sure of it. <laughs> Try to rage kill the light cruisers. And yes, I know I'm running low on ammunition. But uh, I want them dead. Oh, nice. There we go. Come on. It's huge damage. Can you not just sink? Yes, thank you. Nice hit. Uh, that, that is a good way of building a, a light cruiser-esque ship, is to build a heavy cruiser. Uh, stuff full of six or six inch guns or something. Uh, and then you can bring anti torpedo and a uh, you know, decent armor, if you wish. Um, and they make better light cruisers than light cruisers actually do. Um, the, other, the other reason I'm not a huge fan of light cruisers is a lot of... I, I am actually directing it purely at a single hull. Uh, I actually quite like this type, destroyer type ones, but they you'll know which I like. I mean, there is the light cruiser hull <laughs> that every every country has access to. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of these. Please sink that light cruiser. Thank you. Right. Uh, save. Ammunition, please, because we are quite low. Uh, and there are some battleships to hunt down, I believe. It would be nice if it gave me times ten. But, uh, yeah, there they are. Sailing away from us. What's that? Torpedo warning. Mm, I assume it's missing. I'm also getting a ping from over there somewhere, but goodness knows what that is. Right, I'm going to detach all ships. Oh, fuck. Richelieu. Oh, there was a torpedo. Oh, well, Richelieu can take it. Uh, just so that all the ships can accelerate to full speed. So we are now in a chase. Void off. There we go. Yeah, Richelieu's speed is going to be yeah impacted by that. She's not going to be too much slower than Diderot and Bellicose anyway, but that is annoying. She was the fastest of the battleships. And she runs into a torpedo because I'm not paying attention. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, no, I haven't built any ships since you suggested. Just a short. Here's the Saxon. 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 Mm, ah, they've run out. <laughs> really, they've run out of AT shells, and they fired quite a lot of their AP ammo as well, I think. How many shots have they fired? 338. And they have done 81 damage. Impressive. Uh, not. And the Hanover? It's fired 342 shells for 150 damage. Again, not very impressive. Yep. Um, yeah. This the 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 streams equate to well, if I could manage it, about a week's worth of content 
on YouTube. Oh, there is a smaller ship. Oh, sneaky. Smaller ship. Don't know who you are. We're going to start shooting at you. Probably a light cruiser. No, destroy it. You were a destroyer, right. Continue to chase. Well, the Grand St. Louis has, well, has a chance to shoot a little bit, but she's pretty much out of ammunition, so she's not going to be too much useful. But uh, maybe get a hit in or two. How fast are those German battleships going? 24 and 29. Okay. I'm so sorry. You've done a grand job. Dealing 12,000 damage. Which is pretty impressive. But I'm reasonably sure... Yeah, you are out of ammunition. because the battleships are opening up. Nice. Diderot closest. All five Bellicas and then Richelieu. Yeah, new barrels. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm not even sure I have enough shells to sink them, but at least uh, give them a bit of a bloody nose. Bit of a goodbye gift, I suppose. Actually, I'm not sure what kind of shells they use. Triple base, heavy. Hmm. Yeah, causing the old fire and things. Almost out of AP shells. Just not going to be able to continue to engage for too much longer. Bom, 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 bom. <laughs> I'm sorry, how many cruisers did you say? Uh, I don't actually know. It's quite a lot of cruisers. There's clearly a couple left. I think they're heavy cruisers that were damaged really early on in the battle. Um, because I haven't seen the heavies. It was just us murdering light cruisers. I 
now. Look at that. 13 inch guns out damaging the 15s. But that's because they were able to blow up the uh, light cruisers very effectively. And the destroyers. Destroy the secondary tower. Very nice. I'll impair her um, damage control. Causing a bunch of fires will help as well. Oh, well, Marguerite <laughs> is out of ammunition as well. Okay, back you go. damage did you do? 4.7 thousand. Not bad. Uh, that would be cool if ships uh, change their appearance depending on their veterancy. That would be very cool. But, uh, not, not really a thing that I think happened, historically speaking. Saxon's taken actually quite a lot of damage in between my mushroom. You're going to switch fire to the Hanover with the Victoire in the hopes of knocking out some engines because uh, Saxon, with you know all of her engines out, is eventually going to operate the battleship. Ow. Mind you, that is a juicy target. She is shooting at us. Take that. <laughs> Come on. So much fire on board this, this accident now. Absolutely tons of it. She has no ammunition left though. So we are definitely better switching targets to the Hanover. Point nine percent structure remaining. That's ridiculous. See if we can get a kill shot with your last shell. No. Get out. Uh, Diderot is also out. And Bellicas are the only two remaining. Wait for them to get a bit closer. I can't believe the Saxon's still afloat. Let me look at this thing. 0.2% <laughs> structure. I wonder if Diderot can get her with like the four inch guns or something. Surprising accuracy is. Yeah, there we go. 
so low for shooting at the uh, Saxon. That's more like it. <laughs> yeah, repairs are not helped when every ship type is different. This is uh, true. There we go. <laughs> 31 damage did it. How fast is Hanover going? 22. Hmm. Needs just a little bit to sink it. And we are catching her up. Even with Richelieu. Got a bit of a list. Poor old Hanover. Mind you, I might run out of time, I just noticed. So, do you know what, Hanover? You get a chance. Either I'm going to run out of time, or I'm going to run out of ammunition. Let us see which one it is. I know, sunk up a river at home. <laughs> I actually forgotten that, yeah, it's, it's fighting like in the middle of Germany somewhere for some reason. <laughs> a bloody big river. Yeah, it is quite large. Uh, this, by the way... Uh, this happens if you if you play for a very long time and you sail out at the, the game's light box area. when you get this weird, weird shader issue. Oh, nice! Forty minutes. Never know, maybe the fires will get her. <laughs> Try and slowly reduce her structure down to zero. Richelieu uh, almost out of ammunition. who has a fair few shells left, but uh, we're running out of time. Very unusual to see battles go the distance in time. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> UAD geography saying that the Midlands is northwest England. Bottle of wine per hit. Oh my goodness. Well, I did say that the uh, battleships weren't the real price. Um, wiping out all those cruisers was the the price, because I mean, there's a hell of a lot of light cruisers <laughs> sent to the bottom. Totter rum, yeah. But uh, it's the French. So I, 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 th I think the French also used rum, but uh, when they were on long voyages. But of course, they didn't go on long voyages as much as the British sailors did, because uh, Royal Navy ships in port uh, they gave beer to the sailors, like eight pints a day or something. If I uh, remember rightly, back in Nelson's day, anyway. What? Someone spotted the Marguerite de Ponant. Who? Weird. Two engines down, oh my god. 67 gels, 20 minutes. Partial pen, two fives. Oh, the four inch gun's getting involved. Yeah! Octo guns, go! <laughs> I'll let him. Dead in the water, 14 minutes, 35 shells. Try and kill you with 4 inch if I have to. Groof. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, actually, you know, English wine isn't terrible uh, by any means. But uh, yeah, growing grapes in the UK is is pretty tricky. You basically, have to do it in a greenhouse, which is why we consume vast amounts of French wine. Well, I've got nine minutes. And seven shells. But uh, there's all. If I can get, if I can get there in nine minutes, I will try and ram it. <laughs> Eight minutes. Yeah, 
kicks us out of the 15s. It's all on the 4-inch guns. Char actually doing damage, which is pretty funny. So badly armoured is the uh, German battleship. Four minutes. Well, it's actually the two inch guns at the moment that are doing the damage, which is even funnier. Four inch guns must not have a good arc. Three minutes. Gonna get you. <laughs> Ram here. <laughs> yes, don't let him get away. Two minutes. Going right up the arse. Oh, six anyway. No, avoid, 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 avoid. Ed, Ed, Ed. <laughs> Before she took two. <laughs> Actually sank him with two inch guns. Amazing. Right. Um, oh, there were two battle cruisers that we damaged but never saw. And. Three heavy cruisers that we damaged and never saw, and then seven light cruisers, five destroyers, and two battleships. Lovely stuff. <laughs> yes, boarding parties, exactly, boarding parties. Well, that's pretty conclusive. Um, 11,774 victory points for us, and 66 for them. Uh, and I'm pretty sure everything getting away. Yeah, heavy damage, heavy damage, heavy damage, medium. Sean Horse gets away with medium damage. Everything else trashed. Good. Well, <laughs> that was quite the battle. Now, where the hell was it? Again, mysteriously here. I, I, it's bizarre. Anyway, um, we have another battle. With what? With the Italians. Well, this will be for next time. Uh, and I will see you, uh, those of you on YouTube anyway, for the next one. Bye for now.